Welcome back, fellow viewers. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating topic that affects all of us at some point in our lives, illness. Have you ever wondered what actually happens when you're sick? Join me on this journey as we explore the intricacies of the human body's response to illness and the mechanisms behind it. Before we jump into the details, let's start with a basic understanding of illness. When we say we're sick, we typically refer to a state of being unwell or experiencing symptoms that hinder our daily activities. But what's happening inside our bodies during this time? At the core of it, sickness is often caused by pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, or fungi invading our bodies. These microscopic organisms can enter through various routes like inhalation, ingestion, or direct contact. Once they gain entry, they begin their attack on our immune system. Our immune system is like an intricate defense network, working tirelessly to protect us from harmful invaders. It consists of white blood cells, antibodies, and other specialized cells that act as our body's defense mechanism. When pathogens enter, the immune system kicks into high gear, mounting a multifaceted response to fight off the intruders. One of the first lines of defense is inflammation. You've probably experienced this yourself, redness, swelling, and pain around an infected area. Inflammation is our body's way of increasing blood flow to the affected area, allowing immune cells to arrive swiftly and start combating the invaders. Once the immune cells arrive, they engage in a battle against the pathogens. This clash creates a series of chemical reactions, releasing substances like cytokines and antibodies to neutralize the invaders. But this immune response can sometimes result in the familiar symptoms we associate with being sick, such as fever, fatigue, coughing, and sneezing. Fever, for instance, is a fascinating defense mechanism. When our body detects an infection, it raises its internal thermostat, increasing body temperature. This elevated temperature makes it harder for the pathogens to survive and reproduce, aiding in their elimination. It's important to note that not all illnesses are caused by infections. Allergic reactions, autoimmune disorders, and even lifestyle choices can also lead to symptoms of sickness. The human body is incredibly complex, and sometimes it can react in unexpected ways. So, the next time you find yourself feeling under the weather, remember that your body is engaged in an intense battle against invaders. The symptoms you experience are often signs that your immune system is doing its best to keep you healthy. And that's a wrap, folks. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of what happens when you're sick. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Stay curious, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.